Marley Bird YouTube channel brought to you by Red Heart Yarns. In this video, I will show you how to make this stunning, fantastic ripple scarf. This scarf is a wonderful beginner lace pattern that uses a new yarn by Red Heart called Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. That's right, all the color work you see in this scarf is done in the yarn. So the yarn does half the work for you. All you have to do is repeat the lace stitch pattern, which is so simple. I know it's listed as an intermediate pattern, but this lace stitch pattern is very easy. As long as you know how to do knits and purls, I can show you how to do row three, which is the big lace action row, and you will have a wonderful new stitch to add to your knitter's toolbox, and you can make this really great scarf using this really wonderful new yarn. Now, this scarf pattern is a free pattern over on redheart.com. You can find the information regarding the pattern, the yarn, the needles, the stitch markers in the video description box right down there below. There is a link, and while you're down there, go ahead and smash that like button, as my kids say, so that other people know you enjoy this video. Once you have your free pattern, go ahead and join me back over here. I want to show you the close-up of this scarf, explain a little bit how the stitches work when it comes to lace, and then I will show you how to do the row three for the lace stitch pattern. super excited about this scarf pattern. It is so fun and I think for me it's the yarn. It's the colors of the yarn that just make it super exciting because the stitch pattern itself is really easy but as you're working along and one color morphs to the other color like you can't wait to get there and so it's really super exciting. So take a look at this scarf with me. Right here, you can see that the lace stitch pattern is simply beautiful, and it's just created with some simple yarn overs coupled with some decreases on the outside here. And the whole thing is made with a garter stitch edge on either side, so that way it doesn't naturally curl on itself. In order to maintain the garter stitch edge, all you will do is knit the first two stitches of every row and knit the last two stitches of every row. For me, I like to add stitch markers before I um, get to those last two stitches and after those first two stitches. So that way it's like a big stop sign for me to say, hey Marley, we're going to switch stitch patterns here, so make sure you're ready. So that's why I've added stitch markers to the list of materials for this pattern. If you already know how to do knits and purls, you can read the pattern all the way up until the third row of the lace stitch pattern. And then it's just a combination of some knits, knit two together and yarn overs, which I will show you how to do. So first things first, you will cast on, using your favorite cast on, 22 stitches. Once you've cast on 22 stitches, you will then knit four rows. Once you've knit those four rows, you will begin the lace stitch pattern. Row one of the lace stitch pattern is also knit, so you will knit the entire first row. Row two, you will knit the first two stitches, then I'm going to have you put a marker, then you will purl 18 stitches, then I will have you put a marker, and you will knit the last two stitches. That brings us to row three, which is this. You will knit two stitches and then slip your marker. And when you create lace, it's a combination of decreases and increases. So that way you can maintain the same stitch count, but you're able to get the wonderful, beautiful openness of the yarn overs to create your lace. So you will start off here, you will knit two together, knit two together, knit two together. So that is six stitches total that we have knit two together three times, leaving us with three stitches. So we've decreased three stitches. Then we do a yarn over, knit one, six times. So yarn over, knit one, 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 yarn over, knit one. So now we've just increased six stitch stitches. So if we decreased three, we just increase six. That means right now we have three stitches more than we started off with. Not a problem because now we have six stitches remaining before our stitch marker and we would do a knit two together three times once again and that will decrease our three stitches that we were increased by. Slip our marker and then we knit the last two stitches. After that row four is really easy. You'll knit the two stitches, purl across to the next stitch marker and knit the last two stitches. As I said, 
You know how to cast on, you know how to bind off, you know how to knit, you know how to purl. But you might not know how to create yarn overs or knit two togethers. So let me show you row three so that way you can really jump in and tackle this wonderful scarf. Let's set this out of the way and I'm going to pull in my swatch here. And I've only worked a couple of repeats here and I'm getting ready to work a row three again. But you can already begin to see the beautiful lace stitch that's occurring. What I want to do here is I will start off and I'm working row three of the lace stitch pattern. I will begin by knitting two stitches. Knit two. I will slip my marker and now I will knit two stitches together. So I take my right hand needle, go into the second stitch over on my left hand needle. I will go in through the second stitch and the first stitch. Then I knit them together, creating one stitch. So I took two stitches and I made them into one. I will do that again. So I did a knit two together again, and I will do a knit two together again. So there's my three knit two togethers. Now it's time to do a yarn over and a knit one. For a yarn over, your yarn's in back, you bring it forward, and you rest it over top of your right hand needle, back to the back. That little yarn right there, as it rests on my right hand needle, that's my yarn over. And now I knit one stitch. So that's one yarn over. Here's two yarn over, knit one stitch. Three yarn over, knit one stitch. Four yarn over, knit one stitch. Five yarn over, knit one stitch. And six one yarn over, knit one stitch. Now I will do my knit two togethers all the way to my stitch marker. So I will knit two together there's one, here's a knit two together, there's two, and here's my third one. Let me do that one more time. My third knit two together, and I'm to my marker. So I can slip my marker, and then I will knit my last two stitches. If I wanted to go back and check on my work, I can count my stitches between my markers and I should have 18 stitches between my markers. If you're going along and you're working your yarn over and your knit ones and you lose track, all you need to do is look at your, your work before you turn and just find the yarn overs and count them. You'll notice that they are the ones that look like there's a big hole there. So there's one yarn over, there's a knit one, there's two yarn over, there's a knit one, there's three yarn over, there's a knit one, there's four yarn over, there's a knit one, five yarn over, there's a knit one, six yarn over, there's a knit one. So you can keep track this way. Row four is simply to turn your work you will knit those first two stitches. Remember that marker. That marker is there to remind you, hey, you need to treat me different out here. You will slip your When you come to a yarn over like this, it is simply going to look like just a piece of yarn resting on your needle. You will treat it just as if it's a regular stitch. So put your right hand needle through the yarn over, yarn over your needle, and then bring it through. So you just treat the yarn overs as if they're normal stitches, okay? Nothing new. They look a little funny. That's okay. We want that hole there because that hole actually makes it so that we get that really pretty lace. And because we've coupled these yarn overs with decreases, we have not increased our total number of stitches. And that is what makes the beautiful feather and fan lace pattern. I'm to my next marker and I wanna give you a little tip. If you're purling across, go ahead and bring your yarn to the back before you slip your marker. You're less likely to get your marker caught between your yarn. As I move my marker, I know that these last two stitches need to be knit and I'm done. So that would be the end of my repeat and I would start my repeat once again. Now I am going to give you a little warning. As you get going along with this, it becomes very addictive because you won't be able to wait to see what the next color combination is going to be like um, as the colors flow from one to the next with the new Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. It is simply just gorgeous. Now that you know how to make the fantastic ripple scarf, I hope that you will run out, grab yourself some Super Saver Stripes 
tubes, yarn, some needles, and some stitch markers, and make this beautiful lace project. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try out all of these new colors of the Red Heart Stripes yarn. I don't know about you, but they are so bright and they just make me salivate and I'm so excited. What are you gonna make with your new yarn?